Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, in which we're playing using the Road to 56 mod. Right now, we are at war with the Danes, and really, actually, the Northern Lights, which will eventually include Hungary, as well as Croatia, because I kicked them out. However, the Japanese have also decided to go to war with us. How great! How absolutely, positively great. Uh, I really don't want to fight them, but whatever. And I don't know where the divisions are, because we can't see them, but China's not having a good time. Holy cow. Regardless, we've already started invading... Denmark, so I'm not too concerned about it. I did throw the paratroopers on there, but they're not doing a great, they're not doing well. They're doing a great job. It's just, there's a lot of enemies around here, so. But let's go do a uh, focus, shall we? Let's see. We're running out of things to do here, but that's alright. Mm, finish the Latorania Libica. During the Great Depression, the, the government greatly developed infrastructure and set up public works throughout Libya to improve the conditions on the settlers who had been there for several decades. In the 30s, the Latoranica Libica project was launched and a road linking the entire Mediterranean coast. The latter is ready to be completed and this will thus be able to link most of the major Libyan cities. Now we might lose some paratroopers, but at least we're sinking some enemy ships. Got some more excavation, which would be very good and nice. Uh, fuel? Sure, why not? So this episode... <clears throat> we will take out Mexico. We will. I promise you that. Come on, guys. Get over there. I don't want to lose these, th these three divisions, actually. Yum. Oh, they're slowly winning. Mar Mario is hurt, huh? Well, that's not good. Get over there. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow. We're trying to pair drop and navally. And so we'll get navally invaded as well. Wow. That kind of sucks. Oh, we're gonna get these guys. That's good. Oh, we still might get these guys. Come on, come on, come on. Have we lost any divisions? We might have. I don't know where our ten right now, so it's kind of hard to tell. I'll be honest. It's... We got him. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh my goodness, that was that was that was pretty dangerous. Not gonna lie, that was pretty gosh darn dangerous. Head on in. Head straight on in. Um. Wow. How's the Swedish fleet looking? Hopefully, it's dead. How is Hungary looking? Uh, it's getting smaller. And Croatia? Well, you gotta go as well. We do have a couple comments to go through. Hey, look! That's 15 days instead of 10. That's kind of different. Very good, very good, very good. There we go. Sunk a Subarino. Have a cup of coffee here, even though it's already half drunk. But hey, whatever. So keep moving in, guys. Keep moving in. We're doing a great job after this. Ooh, look at this. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, bring in that fleet. Iceland takes control of foreign affairs. They join the Northern Alliance while it's fine with me. Oh, come on. Just see their ships. Please see the ships. Oh, we actually got up here. Nice. Very, very good. Very, very good. And let's go and just do something like that. Very awesome. Let them just go right on in. The tanks are doing a great job. Malmo. Ooh, Malmo. Uh, U.S. takes and seizes Greenland. Okay, well. As long as I don't have to go to war with America. Because that'll drag out this campaign a little bit longer. We sunk eight subs. Nice. So I've never played a Sweden in any campaign. Maybe we'll have to try it sometime. You'll fight America, though. Oh, we go to war with the Finns? Huh. They have only they have two million manpower. They're an extensive conscription. they got a lot of divisions. And probably a massive, massive navy now. Once we form Rome, I mean, it should be too bad to take out America, but I don't really feel like it, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that this is the last episode in this campaign, so... Because yesterday, we took out the common turn. But there was one comment that we probably need to address here, and that is that uh, even though I gave Katowice to Poland, Eupen is still technically... That's not Eupen. Eupen's, Eupen's down here. Uh, German, and we should give that to Germany. I would like to, and I actually originally did off-screen. But we're not going to be able to do that just because that's a Belgian province too as well. And we literally need that to form Rome. So, here's the idea. We got to go to Holland. Actually, we will have to go to war with America. That sucks. We got to go to war with Turkey as well. Go to war with Turkey. We're going to form the Roman Empire. And then I can give Eupen back to Germany. Even though, because I'm still going to, like, integrate them. I'm still going to integrate Germany, hopefully, by the end of this campaign. So, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Ah, Hungary. Very good, very good. Alright, so with Hungary done, we're just going to go to war with the Turks as well. So, you guys head on down here. You'll have a great defensive line. Thank you very much for playing. You guys head down here and have a good time as well. Hopefully you don't get destroyed too hard. And then you guys come on over here and have a good old time with all of us. And you guys, I don't know where to send you. 
here. You can have your little item right there. And then half you guys go right here. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing fairly well myself, actually. Fairly well. Uh, could be worse, could be better, so. Can you actually walk there? Kind of, uh, different. You can, wow. Is that, is that Road to 56? Wait, can we actually walk? We can walk to Crete? That's, seems a little crazy, but alright, whatever. Goodbye, convoys. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Now, it doesn't seem like we're winning here, and that's totally okay. It's totally okay. Uh, we could pair drop, but I don't know about pair dropping into Finland or Sweden, you know. You guys, oh man, that organization is dropping like crazy. Can you actually win here? Do we have any extra armies around here? Maybe not. I do have you guys, so maybe we'll, we'll send you guys over as well. Come on over, guys. Also, how much more manpower do these guys have? Republic, no, we're good. Uh, they have uh, quite a bit, so it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time, that's okay. We will slowly win here eventually, so. Mm. Uh, we probably don't have air superiority, that's probably what's up. Yeah, we don't, that sucks. We'll do that for now. Yeah, like, I don't understand. Sometimes, where are their planes? It says we have red air, but there's no enemy planes in the air. This is not showing us them, which is kind of stupid, but... Okay, whatever. Ah, naval battles. Ah, four more destroyers sunk. Oh, look at that. That's so... Oh, the Japan... I see we're more of the Japanese and we're sinking the conflict. What are they doing over there? Probably getting fuel, maybe? Of course, they, of course the Japanese can't trade with the Americans, because they're also at war with each other. So, oh, look at that. That's really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sink that stuff. Nice. Oh, it's like the part of the fleet. Oh, that's so nice. Oh. There it is. Beautiful, my friends. Uh, casualties against the Swedes. Probably sort of high, actually. Yeah, 56,000. Even though we've killed off a quarter of a million of them, so... Not too bad. I love the naval stuff. Especially against secondary powers. Oh. So good. Oh, we sunk the Danish part of the fleet. Good. Give me more of that naval XP. Oh, wait, some this too. Uh, do we do America yet? How have we not done the Americans yet? There you go. All right. Well, Turkey, you've had it too good for too long, but we need Hatay back. They're guaranteed by the Germans. Uh, Germany, I don't know. About, I don't know about that, man. I, I don't know. The fall of Oslo. Oh, an example of Germans. Germany's evil. Yeah, the Germans are evil. Yeah. Totally wasn't us. Totally wasn't us. Uh, leave you guys out. Uh, yeah, no thanks. Uh, let the tanks do the job. Ah, finish the line. As you can tell right now, I don't really care about our, you know, army too much. Modernized Ethiopian roads up. Our new colony, Ethiopia, has a fairly old railway system. The best example being the Franco-Ethiopian Railway Line, which takes more than 36 hours to travel from Adi Addis Ababa to Djibouti. We should upgrade these roads with the help of new rail cars developed by Fiat. Ah, Fiat. What a great company. Alright, so to go to war with America, we're going to defend um, Canada like crazy. Which won't be bad. Won't be great. But I'm, I'm a little worried about the American Navy, because they do have a massive... Well, they should have a massive Navy. Okay, so we're slowly winning here in Sweden. We killed off... 400,000 of them, so... Oh, good. A DNA is going to be ours. We have a massive air, air force, though, against these guys. Or against the Americanos. A change in democracy? Ah, see? Very good. See, we don't even have to do this. It's so fast, it doesn't even matter. Uh, let's see... Well, hopefully the Turks aren't too bad to take yet. We'll see what happens, you know. Uh, it's mostly... Well, it's, it's, it's a mixture of stuff. We're doing relatively okay on each front. Maybe not perfectly on each front, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see... Ooh, we got a lot of torpedo bombers, which I like. It's like Old World Blues now. Even the fighters can do some ground support. Let's see, you guys are right there. Oh, that army, thank you. There you go. Naval stuff, yes, please. And as you can tell, I annex a lot of Russia, so. Uh, I love Russia that way. Now, what do we have over here? Old ships? Yes, outdated old ships, that's fine. 
How many of the ships actually looking? Eight extra ships? Also, I did, as you can tell, integrated France with our country, so that's pretty good for us. Um, concerning the French fleet, oh, this is a French fleet. It wasn't great. I actually threw in one of our own provinces, the, the Provence, the Lorraine, and we have the RN Imperio, so, and the Tourville, so. It's definitely not a great fleet, so that's why I'm trying to bolster its numbers up, just so that we can cover, even though it's not great, we can still try to cover its weaknesses, so, by throwing in more ships in there, so. Ah, good. More naval XP, please. Fall Stockholm, is no one safe? No, they're not. Ah, good. Ah, good. I've heard that actually, even though I've in the past I've said light cruisers aren't, or just heavy cruisers are probably my, the weakest ship, I've read reports that actually heavy, cru heavy cruisers can be one of the strongest ones as well, so it's very mixed in my opinion on what you're looking for in your fleet. How much more do we have to take out for this? Not much more? That's kind of okay with me. Uh, you guys, oh man, ammo 43, it is 1943 of course, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab, ooh, Jaegers would not be bad, 42. What do we want? We're done with our land doctrine, of course. Any planes? Oh, actually, this is ahead of time. That's fine. 63 days is not too bad. Oh, we actually lost a ship there. That's not good. More destroyers. Yeah, we're going to need to make sure that our fleet's the best in the world. Especially considering when um, <laughs> the Americans show up, which is not going to be good. Yeah, the fight against America is going to be really just god-awful. But then again, that's how it always is. Always is god-awful. Five. Get some more extraction, because we can, because why not? Alright, so who's the major power here, actually? Sweden. That's it. Alright, so you just gotta focus on the Swedes. Where are their BPs? Defense oil processing is nice. Let's grab some, maybe some better artillery. Yeah. Only 60 days, not bad. Um, really not bad. And, I mean, it's just gonna take a little bit more time, that's all. Oh, actually, we should be interested in how the Turks are doing. Where are you guys at? Oh, you're just, you were the guys around hungry. Oh, that's fine. Uh, they're doing actually really, really well. Yeah, the Turks really not standing up to us for some reason, but okay. Very good. Very good. Keep it up. Man, can you imagine if you had a balance in economy while doing this? Oh, wait, that's just TNO. I was thinking about that because I was thinking Old World Blues, really, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Turkey should fall relatively soon. Once we take Trabzon, uh, Trabzon, that should be good. Ooh, any upgrades? Not really, no. That's fine. Oh, there they go. Thank you, Turkey. Actually, were they an alliance? Did they join anybody? Uh, Turkey joined... Ah. Oh, crap. The Greater East Asian area, huh? Well, that sucks. That's right, though. Alright, all that's left after this is really just Holland and Brabant. So... Ooh, Holland and Brabant, huh? Hmm... That would put us at war with Americans, though, because they're guaranteed by the Brazilians who's in the American sphere, so that would not be very good. Go, go, go. Force them down. The Syrian Republic. I love Syria. Time for some war crimes. You guys, let's go bye-bye. How about that? Yes, yes. Next to technology, hopefully will be done soon. Uh, yep, just heavy hulls. Oh! And they go Sweden, and the rest of the country. So, we're going to annex these guys. And then, what we're going to do next... I'm, I don't really feel like taking out the Japanese. They're actually not doing against, anything against us, which is fine. I'm going to give Mongolia to, to China as well, as you can see. Yeah, I don't know. I'll do the peace deal. Off screen. So here we are, everyone, in which I've already selected the next focus, established the SME, the Societa Mineralia Deletria will be a government company responsible for the exploitation of mining deposits in Eritrea, allowing us to have or do benefit from it. So, right now we're just going to go ahead and go strike quickly into the Netherlands and then form the Roman Empire. Uh, I'm not going to call any allies in, eh, I'll call, I'll probably actually just manually call in Germany. Oh, they're still led by uh, uh, Mr. Hitler. Mr. Hit Daddy. Alright, hopefully they don't call anyone else in. They called those guys in. And honestly, I don't feel like taking out the... Oh, crap. Cuba's joined. Ecuador. I don't feel like taking out the Japanese. And actually, the Chinese went to war with this as well, so... Um, yeah, there's that. So, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we just... We're gonna just barrel through these guys pretty quickly. I really don't feel like invading Mexico, you know, uh, Japan... 
Oh, we have to fight America. Come on, that's so stupid. That's so dumb. But it's Road 56. What do you expect? What do you expect? Uh, no. We join the Kingdom of Defense. So, you know, that makes sense for them. But I really don't feel like invading them. I'll be honest, I really don't feel like it. So, and that's okay. Actually, advanced artillery. We can grab some engineers, maybe. That's slightly better artillery. That's not bad. I mean, if we did go to war, like if we did actually try to fight them, we would do well eventually. But wow, there's a lot of dead things around here. Dutch subs. That's really cool. More subs, more subs and destroyers. Not bad, not bad. And Amsterdam will be ours. Uh, guys, would you all like to help out? That'd be great. So since it's war with the Chinese, I've already sent an army over here against the Republic of China. It's kind of dumb that China went to war with us for some reason. I'm not sure why, but okay, whatever. And there they go. Cool. King of the Netherlands is gone, and we can finally realize Roman ambitions in 1943. Oh, it's gonna lag super hard. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay, that was a lot better. So, Imperium Romanum has been formed, and ooh, look at all those subs and just ships sunk. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Is there anything else around here? Not really. So, that was the main goal of this entire campaign for us to form the Roman Empire. That's looking not too bad. Looking not too bad. Imperium Romanum. Nice. Roma Invicta. Looking pretty good. This is much better Rome. And, of course, Mussolini's got his special hat. Fun Fondatore del Imperio. Well, not too bad, not too bad. There's one more thing I want to do in this episode. And that is to annex Les Germans. So, we need slightly more or less autonomy for them. So, that'll be good. And, even though we're Italy, they're called Reichskommissariats. Alright, cool. I should have given Germany all its divisions back, but we're pretty much done here in this campaign. Submarines operations, and that's looking a whole lot better. I didn't give them Oipin back, actually, but hey, you know what? It's over and it's done with. So, that's going to be the end of the campaign, my friends. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.